Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you all how to install Homebrew to your new Nintendo 3DS and 2DS consoles. Now I have to say in my opinion the team behind the 3DS hacks guide that we're going to be using today has made this process way more simple than it already was before. And now it also works on the 11.17 update. So let me just go ahead and get started with this and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so getting started, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is grab your console, and uh, while it's turned off, hold down the start button and power on the console. This is just to check to see if there's already Homebrew installed to your console. Maybe you bought your console off of eBay or somewhere else, Craigslist, anywhere. Uh, but if another screen pops up other than the main 3DS screen, then your console may already have Homebrew installed, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you to follow in case that's you I'm talking about. But assuming that it boots up like normal, we're just going to continue on. The uh, two things you're really going to need to accomplish this is an internet connection and an SD card. Preferably an SD card that is 8 gigabytes or bigger. I mean, you're going to be putting games on this and stuff later. Ideally, you're going to want a bigger card anyways. I'm going to be using a 16 gigabyte card today. Uh, if you're using anything over 32 gigabytes, you're going to need a special tool. Again, I'll leave in the description below. Um, the only thing we're really going to need to check on the console at this time is to go into our system settings. And we want to verify the version of our console. So you can see right here in the top half of the screen in the bottom right corner, you can see I'm on version 11.17.0-50U. Now, this will also work if you're on uh, 50E or 50J, which is Europe and Japan. Other than that, we're just gonna head over to the PC with our SD card. I'll see you there. All right, now that we're on the computer, like I said, we're gonna be using the 3DS hacks guide for pretty much everything we need here today. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But if we scroll down, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is select our console, which again is the new 3DS and 2DS console. And then you're gonna select your version, which mine was 11.17.050U. I'm going to hit confirm and then it'll give us a list of our things we're going to need to download here. So first is the latest release of Super Skater Hacks. I'm going to click this. We're going to download the .zip and we're going to go back. We're going to grab the safe B9S installer. Then we're going to grab boot nine strap. Then we're going to grab nip hacks and then the latest release of Luma 3DS. And we're just going to grab the zip file out of this. And that should be all set for now. So we're going to start the prep work of our SD cards. Let me go ahead and open the downloads. We'll open the download folder here. And also going to open up our SD card. So the first thing we're going to do is highlight everything, right click and hit extract each archive to separate folder. And then we can go ahead and delete all the zips. Next, we have boot nine strap. We'll just go in order here. So the boot nine strap needs a new boot nine strap folder on the root of your SD card. So right click, create new folder, and we're gonna call it boot nine strap. And inside of the boot nine strap folder, we're gonna go into the boot nine strap folder on our downloads, and we're gonna grab the .firm and .sha file. We're gonna grab both of those and bring them into the boot nine strap folder we just created on the SD card. Heading back over to the root and the downloads folder, we have Luma 3DS. We open this up, we have the .3DSX and the boot.firm. We're gonna grab both of these and toss them into the root of our SD card. Head back and downloads again. We have Nympax. So for Nympax, we need to right click and create another new folder on our SD card. And this one is gonna be called 3DS. Now this is different from the Nintendo 3DS folder. You need this, just a 3DS folder. And inside of that, we're gonna go into the Nympax folder, open it up again, and all this stuff is gonna be transferred into the 3DS folder. So I'm just gonna back out and we're gonna grab the main folder for Nympax and drag the whole thing in there. After that, go to the downloads folder again and the root of your SD card. And now we have the Super Skater Hacks release. So what we're gonna do here is go corresponding to your region. So mine is the USA. And then you're gonna select your version, which mine is 11.17.050U. So I'm gonna open that up. And then I'm just gonna grab both of these here and toss them on the root of the SD card. 
Then I'm gonna head back over to the downloads one more time. And we're gonna look at this safe B9S installer folder. And all we need is the dot bin here. And we're gonna drag this right onto the root of our SD card. Now that should be pretty much it for now. Let's take the SD card out and head back over to the console. Okay, now that we're back on the console, this is where our internet connection will come into play. Now we need to open up a page in the web browser and there's two ways we can go about doing this. You can type in the web address manually, which I'll leave that down below for you, or you can open up your camera and take a picture of this QR code that I'll leave on the screen for you guys. All you're gonna do here is just pick the one that corresponds to your region. So if you're going the QR code route, press the left and right shoulder buttons at the same time to open the camera. Then you're gonna press the QR button here. And then once you scan it, go ahead and open up the web page. Now, first thing on this page, we're just gonna hit the select button and then go to bookmark this page. After that, press the B button. And then we're gonna press the start button. Go to settings. Go to delete cookies. Delete all cookies. And once that's done, we are going to press the home button and then immediately go right back into the internet browser. And now we can go ahead and press the go go on the screen. You may get a pop-up notification if you do like me, go ahead and just press A to continue. And now your console may go a little wonky and change colors. If your console freezes at this time, I'll leave something on the screen for you guys to reference. But assuming everything went okay, we should be on the homebrew launcher when it's all done. From here, we can go ahead and launch Nymphax. And once again, your console is gonna see a couple of colors. And if it freezes, once again, I'll leave a little reference for you guys. And then after it runs through part of its initial setup, it's gonna ask you to input a key combination. Go ahead and punch that in, whatever it is for you and just let it do its thing. After that, you're gonna get a message that says SIG hacked firm install success, press A to continue. And now we are in the Luma 3DS configuration menu. Now, usually you wouldn't check anything here, but I'm going to enable loading external firms and modules because I've used that before with Twilight. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and press start. And what this is gonna do is just save and reboot the console. And once the console turns back on, you should be in Luma 3DS by default. It's not gonna look any different than the normal 3DS menu. So currently you are running custom firmware. Um, we're not completely done yet though. There are some useful homebrew applications we're gonna download next. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the PC and take our SD card with us. Okay, so finalizing the setup. This is the part where I really said they streamlined this. Uh, there's a bunch of applications we're gonna have here like FBI, the homebrew launcher loader, uh, Anemone, Checkpoint, FTP, Universal uh, Updater, God Mode 9. All these are going to be inside of one file, which is just the finalizing.zip. So go ahead and grab that and let it download. Once that's done, I have my SD card over here on the right and my download folder over here on the left. I'm just going to right click finalizing zip and go to extract two. Inside of the finalizing folder, I'm just going to highlight finalize GM9 and Luma and drag them to the root of the SD card. If it tells you to replace any files or anything like that, just go ahead and do it. After that, let's just go ahead and take the SD card out and head back over to the console. All right, on the console, next up on the list, we're just gonna confirm that we actually have our custom firmware running on our system. So let's go ahead and hold down the select button and then tap the power button. And this should boot us into the 3DS configuration menu. If it does, just go ahead and press start to save and exit. Next up, we have the RTC and DSP setup. And what that is, is basically syncing the 3DS internal clock with the actual time and dumping the sound firmware. So just hit the left shoulder down on the D-pad and the select button. And this will open up the Rosalina menu. From here, we're gonna go into miscellaneous options. Then we're gonna go into dump DSP firmware. Press A on that. And it's gonna tell you uh, it has been successfully written and then press B to continue. And then we're gonna go over into nullify user time offset. Press A on that. And it's gonna say operation succeeded. Please reboot to finalize the changes. Press B on that. After that, we can just hit B until we return back to the menu. And then we will power off our console. Once it's completely off, we're gonna hold the start button and tap the power button. This is gonna boot us into God Mode 9. 
Now, if this is your first time in here, if you're prompted to create an essential file backup, go ahead and press A to do that. Or if you're prompted to fix your RTC date and time, go ahead and press A to do that as well. Looks like I'm good right now, so I'm gonna press the home to bring up the action menu. Then we're gonna go down to scripts, and then we're gonna select finalize. Then it's just gonna go through a bunch of things here, and it's gonna say, if you're okay with this, press A to continue, just press A. It's gonna say writing to Sysnan is locked. Would you like to unlock it? Press A again, and it's gonna give you a key combination. So whatever that is for you, just go ahead and type that in. And it's gonna start installing those CIA files. And then after that, it's gonna perform an end dump. So let's just give this about five minutes or so, and I'll see you soon. Okay, now that the setup's complete, just press A to continue, and it should power off the device. Now what we're gonna do is just take the SD card out and head back over to the computer one final time. Okay, now all we're doing is just taking that NAND dump that we just created and putting it in a safe spot. So go into the GM9 folder, go into the backups folder, and we just want this bin and SHA file. So I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm gonna drag them to my desktop. You guys can place them whenever you'd like, but you just wanna keep them into a safe spot just in case you ever break your system or something bad happens and you need to revert back. So just let this transfer and I'll see you soon. And once our files are in our safe spot, we can go ahead and remove those files from the SD card to save ourselves a little bit of space. After that, let's just go ahead and head back over to the console now and check out those new applications that we got. Now that we're back on the console, you should have a message telling you new software has been added to the home menu. So press OK to continue and we'll start unwrapping these. So the first one is Anemone. This installs custom themes and stuff for your system. And the next one is Checkpoint. This one backs up and restores save files for your 3DS or DS games. Next one is FBI. FBI installs CI formatted applications, which if you watched a couple other videos of mine, you might know about that already. Uh, the next one is FTPD, which allows you to access your 3DS SD card wirelessly. We have the Homebrew Launcher, which I'm sure all of you know what that is. And then we have the Universal Updater. Now the Universal Updater is just basically an app store for downloading other homebrew titles. And that should be pretty much it. You should now have the basics all covered on your 3DS. I'd recommend you check out a couple of my other videos that I'll leave linked at the end card, but I think I pretty much covered everything that I could here. So I'm gonna end this video on that note. So I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later.